Hello again and welcome back to part three of Ashley's Jewel Mandala uh, Crochet Along. Um, I'm still working with a five millimetre hook and double knitting yarn. And we're going to work the rows from this one here up to this last one here. So I'm going to start as always with a slip knot onto the hook. So the last row that we worked was the row that I've got here in green where we did the second row that formed um, the square. So slip knot onto the hook and we're going to start every row now will start in the corner space. So into that corner space I'm going to work two doubles chain one and another two doubles Oops. now going to back post the next 21 stitches so yarn over into the stitch across the front of the stitch pick up a loop from behind yarn over through two and yarn over through two so that's one two three <clears throat> excuse me four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty and 21 so you'll have one stitch left before we've got to this shell here we're going to skip that last stitch which is the last single before the um the shell we're going to work a two double crochet cluster in the space between that stitch that we're going to skip and the first double of the shell and then chain one and then we're going to do the same double uh, crochet cluster into each of the spaces between the doubles so the next one will go here between the first and the second double chain one a third one into the next space chain one a double crochet cluster in the next space chain one and then between the fourth and fifth doubles we do another cluster chain one and then the last cluster will go between the final double and the first single so we've got one two three four five six double crochet clusters into the shell from the last row so we're now going to skip this first stitch here and we're going to work 21 double crochet back up 
the side. So if you want to pause the video and work your 21 back post doubles along and I'll see you when we get to the end. Once you've worked all the way around, we're just going to join into that first double of the corner there. Fasten off the yarn and pull through. So each corner has the two doubles, a chain one and two doubles. And then we've got the back post doubles down to the shell. Then we've got six of the double crochet clusters around the shell and then 21 back post doubles along the next side up to the corner. Now ready to start row 24. Again, I'm going to slip knot onto the hook and we're starting this stitch again in the corner space. I'm going to work one single two chain and another single into that same space Oops. just move that yarn out of the way there now going to work in to the next 23 stitches and we're going to do a single in each so the very first stitch is into the first stitch of the two doubles that formed the corner from the last row. So we're going to work 23 stitches along the side. So if you want to pause the video and work your 23 and I'll make you when I've done my 23. So I've worked the 23 stitches which brings us down to the shell. We're going to work a puff stitch in the space this is the space between the last stitch and the the first cluster there so it's just a, a three loop puff stitch into that space we're going to chain one and then we're going to work a puff in each of the spaces now between these um, clusters here. And then a chain one. A puff stitch again between the two clusters there and a puff stitch between the next two chain one a puff between the next two clusters we've now got one two three four five six chain one again and then we're going to do the final puff between the cluster and the first stitch we're now going to chain one and then work back post sorry it's not back post at all we're going to work singles all the way up along to the next corner and we'll have 23 singles up to that corner so the very first one is going to go into this first stitch here and then work the 23 stitches up to the corner there Took 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 and 23 and that brings us to the corner the corner is exactly the same as before one single two chain and one single and then we start again with the pattern repeat working 23 singles along to the shell there so i'll let you pause the video and i'll do that shell Again, I'll meet you when I've done my 23 singles. We've worked the 23 singles, so we're ready to start the shell again. So the first puff stitch is going to go into the space between the last stitch that we've just done and that first cluster there. Chain one and the next puff stitch so on each side you'll have the 23 singles and then we've got the seven puff stitches that form the shell and then 23 singles back up to the corner and the corners on this row are one single two chains and one single actually I'll just undo that I think I only did the two loops there one two and three and then the last puff stitch is between the last cluster here and the first stitch so that we've got seven clusters around the shell there we're going to then chain one and then work the 23 singles up the side and then when you reach the corner just join into that first single of the corner with a slip stitch and fasten off so again I'll let you pause the video at this point and I'll meet you when uh, for the next row we're now on to row 25 again I'm starting with a slip knot onto the hook and the corner is going to start in this chain 2 space we're going to work two doubles chain one and two doubles we're now going to back post double 23 stitches so we're working a back post double around each stitch down to the shell there Again, you can pause the video while you do your back post doubles down to the shell and you need 23 back post doubles and I'll meet you when you've done those. When you've worked your 23 back post doubles, we're now going to work behind the puff stitches from the last row. So we're going to skip that last stitch here before the puff stitches we're going to chain one and then we're going to do a back post double around the two double crochet clusters here from row 23 so yarn 
round the needle and we come in front of the cluster pick up a loop yarn, uh, yarn over through two yarn over through two and then we're going to chain one we're going to do another back post double around that next cluster chain one a back post double around the next cluster chain one and we're going to do the same with each of the two double crochet clusters from round 23 so from the front you'll see the back post double stitch from the back we've got the the back post double stitches there so we've done one around each of the six uh, two double crochet clusters from round 23 we're going to chain one we're going to skip that first stitch after the puff stitches we're then going to work a back post double around the last 23 stitches of the side and we'll just carry on up to the corner where we'll join into that first <coughs> excuse me into that first double with a slip stitch and fasten off so I'll just go over the row again we've got the two doubles chain one and two doubles we're going to work 23 back post doubles along to the shell and then we skip the very last stitch we're then working behind the puff stitches work a chain one and then a back post double a chain one and a back post double around each of the two double crochet clusters from round 23 we do a chain one after that last back post double we skip the first stitch on the side going back up to the corner and we do 23 back post doubles around each of the stitches up to the corner so if you want to again pause the video and work along this row and I'll meet you for the start of the next row and on to row 26 Again, we're starting in the corner space here we're going to work two doubles chain one and two more doubles to form the corner we're now going to skip the first stitch and work a puff stitch into the next stitch so the first skipped stitch is the one that's slightly hidden there so we work a three loop puff stitch into that second stitch chain one skip a stitch and work a puff stitch into the next stitch chain one skip a stitch and work a puff into the next stitch we're going to carry on working puff stitches along this side skipping a stitch in between and also working that chain in between each of the puff stitches not forgetting that we've got a, a chain that fastens off a puff stitch we do the second chain because we're skipping a stitch on the way along we're going to work 12 puff stitches in total along this side so 
we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need another three, skipping a stitch in between. So we've got the two doubles, one chain, two doubles. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve puff stitches along that side. We're now going to work into these back post doubles that we worked on the previous row. So we're going to half double into this first back post double here. I'm going to chain one and then we're going to work the same into each of the back post doubles behind the shell with a chain one in between. So we've got a half double, chain one, half double, chain one, half double, chain one, half double, chain one, and the last half double into that last back post double. There, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six half doubles along behind the shell there. Now going to chain one, we're going to skip the first stitch and we're going to work a puff stitch into that second of the stitches here. Chain one, skip a stitch and work a puff stitch into the next stitch. Chain one and then we'll carry on exactly the same along as we did coming down towards the shell. We've got 12 puff stitches We'll also have 12 puff stitches going up the other side here. So I'll work that and meet you at the end of this row. So at the end of this row, you will have the four corners with two doubles, chain one and two doubles. And then we've got 12 puff stitches along the side to the shell. And then behind the shell, we've got the one, two, three, four, five, six half doubles with a chain one in between. And these are the stitches that we'll work into on this row so that the shell sits in front of the, um, the half doubles that we did there. So the next row is row 27. And the corner stitches are the same as on the previous row. Working into that chain space, we're going to work two doubles. Chain one and two doubles. We're going to front post double the first two stitches. There's one and two and then we're going to work a front post double around that first puff stitch chain one we're going to skip the chain space and we're going to do a front post double around the next puff chain one a front post double around the next puff chain one front post double 
around the next puff and we're going to work the same front post double around the puff stitch chain one until we get to the last puff stitch here and I'll meet you at that point. So when we've worked the last front post double around the twelfth puff along the side we're going to now work into these chain spaces here that run between the half doubles from the previous row so we're going to work we just ignore the half doubles we just skip those we do that last chain after the front post double then we're going to work two half doubles into each of these chain spaces so there's one And two so we've got five sets of two half doubles one two three four five we're going to chain one and then we go straight to the puff stitch here and we're going to do a front post double, a chain one, front post double, chain one, front post double, chain one. And work the same all the way up to the next corner. So it's a front post double around each of the puff stitches with a chain one in between. And then we're back up to the next corner here and we're going to work a front post double around the last two stitches. So we've got a front post double around the last puff stitch, a chain one and then we've got the two front post doubles. That brings us to the corner stitch where again we're going to do the two doubles chain one and two doubles and then we just repeat the side that we've done for the next three sides so the first two stitches are the front post doubles and then we're going to go straight to the puff stitch and work a front post double around that stitch chain one and then just repeat for each of the sides. So we work 12 front post doubles around to the shell. We then skip the half doubles that we did into the, the stitches previously. We work two half doubles in each of the chain spaces so we've got 10 half doubles all together across there in five sets of two so if you want to carry on and work the next side or the next three sides sorry um exactly the same i'll just work down to this next shell just to show you again so we're working a front post double, chain one, around each of the 12 puff stitches.
and then front post double that last stitch there chain one and we go straight into the chain spaces where we work two half doubles in each of those five chain spaces There's the two half doubles in that last one. Chain one, and then we start again working the half double chain one around the puff stitches all the way up to the corner. And don't forget that the last two stitches before we get to the corner, after that last puff stitch, will be front post doubles. So I'll let you carry on and work all four sides of this row and I'll meet you for the start of the next row. So on to row 28, going to join with a slip knot onto the hook. We're starting again in the corner space. We're going to work two half doubles chain one and two more half doubles into that same corner space. We're now going to work a half double in every stitch along the side and every chain space. So we start in the very first stitch, work a half double. We're going to work a half double in each of the front post doubles. We're going to work a half double into that front post double that was around the puff stitch and then a half double into the chain space. A half double into the front post, a half double into the chain space. We're going to work half doubles all the way along. Uh, when we get to the um, the shell will work two, uh, two, one half double in each of those sets of two. But I'll let you work until you get down to the shell and I'll meet you at that point. I've worked my half doubles down to the last front post double that was around the last puff stitch. We work a half double into the chain space and then we've got the ten half doubles here that sit behind the shell, we're going to work a half double into each of those stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten so that's all of the sets of two half doubles along behind the shell we're then going to work a half double into that next chain space and then the next half double will be into the front post stitch one into the chain space one into the next stitch and so on we work all the way up to the corner, just working a half double in every stitch and every chain space. So when you've completed this round, you will have 70 stitches along each side of the throw. If you just want to do a, a quick uh, count just to check that you're still on track. As we reach the corner on each side, we work a half double in each stitch and space up to that last half, uh, the last front postable that was in the last 
puff stitch and then we've got a half double in each of the front post stitches a half double in each of the two stitches that form the corner and then we've got the two half doubles that form the first half of the corner chain one and then two half doubles to start the next side and we just work all four sides exactly the same so again I'll let you pause the video until you've worked your four sides and I'll meet you for the next row start row 29 row 29 we're going to start again in the corner with two doubles a chain one and two doubles we're going to skip two stitches so that's this first one and this one here and we're going to work a two double crochet cluster chain one and a two double crochet cluster into that same space which is the third stitch along the side we're going to skip the next two stitches one and two and work another two double crochet cluster chain one two double crochet cluster into that same space skip two and work the two double crochet cluster sets into the next stitch which is just two double crochet together chain one and then a second one into that same stitch and we're going to just work that all the way along the side Oops. so it's just skip two stitches work a two double crochet cluster chain one and a two double crochet cluster into that next stitch and we're going to just work that all the way along the side to the next corner the next corner again will be the two doubles with a chain one and two doubles and then skip those first two stitches and work the clusters all the way along so it's a nice simple row each side's exactly the same so i'll meet you when you get to the end at the end of row 29 you will have 23 of the cluster sets along each side so working now on to row 30 we're going to again start in that corner space with two doubles chain one and another two doubles we're going to skip the next two stitches we're going to work a single crochet in the space after those corner two doubles we then go over to the space in between the two double crochet clusters and we're going to work three doubles in that space so one two and three and then we go straight into the next space between the cluster sets and work a single and then three doubles into the middle of the cluster sets and a single into the next space three doubles into the chain space and a single into the space between the cluster sets so we're just going to work this all the way along the row when you get to the end we'll skip the last two stitches 
and join after the single into that first double of the corner space there. So if you want to pause the video again at this point and work your sides along and I'll meet you when we get to the end. And row 31, again slip knot onto the hook. We're going to start in that corner space and we've just got one single, two chain and another single into that stitch. We're going to skip the first stitch and work a back post single around the second stitch. We're now going to skip all the singles along this row and just work into the three doubles that sit in each of the cluster sets. We're going to do a back post single around each of those three stitches. So we've got one, two and three. We skip the single, go straight over to the next double and we're going to work three back post singles around those three doubles. Skip the single and work three back post singles, one each around the next three doubles. So we're just going to carry on all the way along to the end of the row. Skipping the single crochets, working a back post single around each of the doubles until we reach the end of the row. And when we get to the last three doubles, we work those last three back post singles. We're going to skip the single, back post single around the first of the two doubles that formed the corner and then we're going to skip that last stitch and join into the corner single with a slip stitch. Cut off the yarn and fasten off. So there we've completed row 31. Row 32, in the corners we're going to do a treble three together cluster. So we're going to start with a standing treble but not work the three yarn over. So we're going to yarn over once, yarn over twice but leave the last loop on the hook. We'll do another one exactly the same yarn over one, yarn over two and a third one yarn over one, yarn over twice and that will leave four loops on the hook so we're going to yarn over and pull through all three at the same time chain one and then we're going to do another three of these um, treble three together clusters so we go one, two, and three. And that leaves the four loops on the hook, yarn over and through all of them. Chain one onto the third one. Might have to push these round a little bit. Yarn over once, twice, but not the third time. And then yarn over and pull through all four loops. Chain one, and then we do the last one. So we've got four treble three together clusters all in to that corner space there 
and we've got the chain spaces in between. So we're now going to work a treble three together over three stitches. So we're going to skip the first two stitches. The first one is the corner stitch. The second one is this one here. So the first stitch that we're going to work in is the back post single that we did around the first of those three doubles. We've got three back post singles together here. So we're going to, sorry, we're going to chain one. So we yarn over twice into the stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over once, yarn over and pull through twice. Yarn over twice into the stitch, pick up a loop, we're going to yarn over through two once, yarn over through two twice. We've got three loops on the hook. Yarn over twice into the stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two once, yarn over, pull through two twice. We've got four loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four at the same time. We're going to chain two. The next stitch goes into this next stitch here and we're going to work over these three stitches exactly the same. So we're doing a treble but not going through the loops three times. We only, we only yarn over and pull through two twice and then pull through all three together, chain two. We're just going to work all the way along the side, exactly the same, working a treble three together over three stitches with a two chain in between each one. That's one, two and three. And then we pull through all four loops and chain two straight into the next stitch for the next treble three together. And then chain two in between. And chain two. So we just carry on all the way along the side exactly the same when you get to the end of the side we've got the four treble three together clusters in the corner and we'll have 23 of the treble three togethers along the side when we get to the last treble three together on the side we're going to just work two chain we skip the last two stitches and then we join to that first treble three together cluster of the corner. Snip off the yarn and fasten off. So we're now ready for the last row of this uh, part of the throw and we're working on row 33. We're going to join as always into the corner space. So on this row it's in between the two sets of um, treble three together. We're going to work into that corner space two doubles chain one and two doubles. We're now going to do a front post double around this first cluster. We're going to work a double into the chain space. Then we're going to work a front post double around the next cluster. We're now going to start the pattern repeat, which is two doubles 
into the chain space and a front post double around that treble three together. So again, two doubles into the chain space and a front post double around the cluster. So this forms the pattern repeat. We just work all the way along the side. Two doubles and a front post double. Two doubles and a front post double. So work all the way along the side to the next corner. When we get to the corner, we've got the last treble three together over the three stitches. So we're going to work front post double around that stitch and then we do the last two doubles into that last chain space. We're now going to work a front post double around that first cluster, a double into the space, a front post double around that next cluster and then we're back where we started on the corner. So we've got two doubles, a chain one and two doubles. We start the next side exactly the same as we did on the first side. Front post double around the cluster, a double into the space, a front post double around the next cluster and then again we're working the two doubles into the chain space and a front post double around the treble three together. So each side is worked exactly the same working the front post doubles around the clusters in the corners and then along the sides it's front post double around the treble three together with the two doubles in the chain spaces in between. So this completes part three of Ashley's dual um, mandala throw. So I hope you've enjoyed crocheting along with me and I hope that you'll join me for part four. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.